Hey everyone, welcome. My name is Lynn, welcome to my home. We're gonna be doing a little spring stockpile reset. What do I mean? Where did I go? What am I talking about with resetting my stockpile? I've got some updates for you, so stick around. Let me show you what my stockpile and my pantry are starting to look like. So you could see, if you remember a few weeks ago, I showed you my messy, messy, messy stockpiles and I have been trying to clean them out and really um, reorganize them and how did all this so, start? Here's the scoop. So let's go back to 2020. Oh, remember that? We all ran out to the store, stocked up everything we could, filled our pantries. Everybody started a stockpile. It was that new craze, stockpile, stockpile. This is what we need. Not a bad thing, right? We had a storehouse full of, you know, products and food to feed ourselves and our family. And then all of a sudden, you know, things started to be replenished in the stores and, and everybody sort of, not everybody, a number of people start going back to their normal way they shop, the way they stockpile. Maybe they only shop for a few days whatever the case might be. Those of us who did a little panic buying, who did a little extra stocking up because of, you know, in truth, we didn't know if we'd go back to find on the shelf flour or cans of tomatoes. So fast forward, I've been eating out of our stockpile in our pantry and last November, so this would be, let me think, we're in March. So this would have been November of 2022. I said to my husband, we're done. I'm overloaded with food. I'm overwhelmed with food. Anybody else get like that? I know if you're a prepper type of a stockpiler, you're going, no, Lynn, don't do that. I reached a point where I just couldn't function anymore in terms of I was running out of space. I just didn't even know what food I had and I needed to make a decision of what can I do. So we started eating down our stockpile and I tried not to buy anything unless I absolutely needed it. For 13 months we did this. So we started in November and we went through December, almost middle of January of this year. And we went through and ate down a ton of stuff, used up a ton of stuff. You know those weird things that you have and you wonder where did I get this in the back of the pantry and the back of the stockpile? That's the stuff we used up and I got creative. Then I got to the point 
in the middle of January where I was starting to think that like, okay, some of my basic essentials such as pastas and things like that, I was really lo running low on. We did a huge Instacart order and filled up a lot of those things just to get us by for a little bit. I was going through a lot of crazy stuff here at home and at work and in life and I just didn't have time to really regroup. Since that time, I've decided to clean out my stockpile, reorganize my stockpile, and I got rid of, let me say, explain by getting rid of, I have passed along, I should say, some of the things that I just didn't feel I would use in an adequate amount of time, and it was taking up too much footprint space in my pantry and stockpile. So I blessed some coworkers, I blessed some family members, I blessed some friends, with a few things that I had that I just did not feel we were gonna go through. My sister happened to come out. My mom was going through some follow-up treatments to some surgery she had. And my sister was here and she ran, rummaged through the bags and she was all excited. I have four bags, like, you know, shopping bags full of pantry items, shelf-stable items that I no longer felt I could use. Which you could see in the picture, I have my pastas and my tomato sauces and I have some canned goods and things like that. I have a freezer, a chest freezer full of meat and vegetables, a top freezer of a refrigerator. Messy, yes, a messy refrigerator, yes, it's messy, but as much as it is messy, it's full with fresh fruits and fresh vegetables and food that I can use to take care of my family. So I am at a point now where usually about twice a year, I will do a huge refill of my stockpile and pantry. That's how I like to do it. Usually like end of spring and then like the end of the fall, we'll go and do a huge massive fill up on everything that we could possibly think we could do. And I'm at that point now where I really feel that I needed to do a major stock up. So I ran to BJ's uh, Costco's is a little bit further. BJ's is closer. We got water bottles. We have a water tower in our kitchen. We got water bottles for that. We just got some individual water bottles. We picked up some soda. Yes, cans of soda for some fun times. We picked up um, some produce. I got big bags of carrots. I call them the real carrots, not the little mini ones. The big bags of carrots. They were $4.97 for a huge bag. I got two of those. Picked up some of those things, some basic essentials. We've got some muffins and some fun things too. But things that I knew that would be a great help in my pantry and stockpile. One of the things that I picked up was some chicken broth. And it was $10 and I got, oh, let me think. Eight to 10 of these, I think. It was, it was fairly reasonable, it was a dollar something each. And I know you can use bouillon and I love making my own homemade chicken broth. Absolutely, I love that. But these are a definite convenient thing to have in the stock. Got some bread, you know, Sara Lee bread is wonderful. Lasts really long, stays fresh. Pick things like that up. I picked up a big case of the unsweetened applesauce. I don't know how many packs it came with. We've been going through this. I have not been to Walmart, ShopRite, Stop and Shop or anything like that yet. But then the other thing is I order from Thrive Market. Now this is not a promotion. I, I'm getting nothing for this, I, but I will tell you, I've been using Thrive Market for about four years now. And somebody at work said to me, do you really like them? Is it worth it? Yes. Now you, when you reset, restock your stockpile, this is spring and I'm doing a reset in the spring with my stockpile. You have to decide what works for your family do you want to buy convenience such as like this? Yes, I do, because I work full time and when I come home, sometimes I don't have time to do the homemade, but I could do semi-homemade with chicken broth and add fresh chicken and fresh carrots and things like that and make a meal for my family that will be healthy and good for them. Like it, I can order it on my phone or my computer. It's delivered within two days. I can restock my pantry. What are things that I like to get? I like to get some of their dried fruits. I think they do an excellent job. This was, I had some credit. I had a $60 credit from usage along the way. So I got some light brown sugar. I was out of it. It's organic, light brown sugar. Do I need my sugar organic? I don't feel that I, knew, I do, but because I had a $60 credit, I went ahead and used it. 
This is a repurchase. I abs absolutely, absolutely love this. And this is the organic quick oats and it is three C. Was, this was new and I used my, my freebies for this. It's lentil and quinoa stew. So something like this over some nice rice would be wonderful. I think that would be great. You saw that I had some Spanish rice in my pantry. I did get that at BJ's. I've never purchased that before. Let me tell you, if you get it, it's absolutely delicious. I did it in my rice cooker. And for lunch this week, I've been on this carrot kick. When I got sick, all I craved was carrots. And I'm a true believer in that your body will let you know what you need. You get cravings for reasons. I have been craving carrots. I guess I need what's in a carrot. So I made carrots and I made Spanish rice. There you go. It's a decent lunch. I got this one and also a mushroom. This is cheddar broccoli soup. It's already packaged in the package. You pour it out, you can warm it up in a pot, in the microwave. I got this for my husband for quick lunches when I'm not home and he needs something. This blend is absolutely amazing and it's only a dollar something a package. Fruit spread, I've had that before, that is delicious. It is plant-based chili. They have a spicy, which is what I got. They also have a plain. The repurchase, the thin stackers. I absolutely love these. As you can tell, it's open. The repurchase, you can tell I like Thrive Market. Their salsa. It, it tastes like you went out in the garden, you picked the vegetables, and you made a fresh salsa. That's how good this is. So if you take this and put it in the crock pot with some chicken, oh my, absolutely 100% amazing. Put that over pasta, you got a great meal. I got almond flour, pancake, and waffle mix. I probably never would have purchased this. I'm not really into almond flour items per se, not against them, it's just not something I'm, I'm used to doing. But it is pancake and waffle mix. We prefer um, waffles. So I thought free, I'm gonna try it. We'll see how it goes. And another repurchase is their coconut cream. I like to do a places like <coughs> Dollar General. I know sometimes they get a bad rap. I had to run in there to get some cold medicine and some cough drops for Graham. While I was there, I got some fun things International Delight Ice Coffee Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. So I got one for Graham and one for Gavin. Were they a great thing for the stockpile? Were they a necessity? No way, Jose. They were just something fun for my guys, and that was it. This is something else I like to purchase. Folgers Classic Instant Coffee. So one packet, if you use a Keurig, the first button on the Keurig, take this and you're good to go. I like this, it is $1 for seven packets. You know, you're talking pennies on the dollar for what it costs. I like to have these. I don't always have the K-Cups. And I honestly, I love instant coffee. I just like the flavor of it. And you know what? To change it up from always using the Keurig flavor and not running out to the local coffee shop all the time, this is just for me a nice alternative. We use these when we go to somebody's house. Like my sister does not drink coffee. I could bring a packet of instant coffee. She's got milk and sugar. We can make coffee. Same with going to my mother's. We go on vacation. We're in the hotel room. Sometimes they have lousy coffee, but you can use the coffee pot for hot water. Use your instant packets. I grew up on these. So this is very nostalgic for me. Chicken or uh, noodle soup, soup mixed with real chicken and flavored broth. Is this the most healthy soup there is? No, but I'll tell you, it takes three cups of water for one pack. It takes four minutes to cook up. When I come home at night and I'm not feeling great or I've had a long day or we just want something late, take some bread, make some toast, make something like this, we're good to go. Pringles, are they part of what I need for the stockpile? Yes, in my family they are. Again, choose what works for your family. Don't feel guilty. Don't feel like you have to explain yourself. Your pantry and your stockpile is not something other than, unless you're on YouTube, is on you know, national TV here. The whole world can see what I have in my stockpile. It's really between you and your family. It's a very personal thing. A stockpile is a personal thing. And having things like this is something that my two men in my home enjoy. So I would rather have snacks like that in the home than us always having to run out and buy something at a fast food or things like that. On this one for a dollar, ultra foaming dish spray. 
uh, cuts tough grease. It was $1. So has anybody tried this from Dollar General? Uh, it's called Home Bright, 20% more. It's a small bottle. It's not large, but for $1, I thought I would try it. America's Original Grease Fighter. How many of you use Joy? $2. So I thought I would try it. It's 25 ounces. I have not seen that in the grocery stores in forever. So we're doing a spring stockpile reset, getting things back in order. Am I done filling my stockpile? No, now I need to do a massive go through. Do I have enough pasta? Do I have enough pasta sauce? What do I need? My goal right now, this is for me. I'm a family of three. I work full time and I'm trying to get into more cooking from scratch cooking from home, making home meals. And I'm stockpiling and reorganizing and filling up my pantries. I would like to do this. Now, this is almost the end of March-ish, another, you know, 10 days to go. So my goal is by April 1st, first week of April, my pantry and stockpile will be filled. Even if I go over budget, I'd rather go over budget now and fill everything up as much as I can. With that being said, milk, eggs, certain things like that, yes, I will have to keep up Stocked on Stocked up until the end of the fall. I will not have to get those. Produce will be coming out at the produce farm markets. I can pick up fresh produce and those odds and ends that I need as, you know, we start to go low on those items. But that should cut my grocery bill way down. So I'm going into more from scratch, biscuits from scratch. I'm gonna start doing pancake mix from scratch and brownie mix from scratch. I'm actually getting some beef fat next week and I will be rendering my own tallow. So bring you along as I refill, what's the rest of the stuff that I need to make me satisfied that my pantry and stockpile are now full for the next six months that I will not have to be running out for certain spices and baking items and all the rest. So stay tuned. I'll show you some of those things. Thanks so much for coming over tonight. Hope you enjoyed the video. We'll catch you all on the next one.